I'm out to work. I want you to have a wonderful day. Bye bye boom. Bye bye Naya. All right, Ben, what's the future of JavaScript? The future of JavaScript is, it's bleak, it's dark. And we're never coming back from it, I'll tell you that. You gotta, you gotta give the people some hope. Okay, okay, it's, it's, it's pretty good. I think it's gonna be much, much uh, smaller, much lighter weight frameworks that end, everyone end, ends up using because it's kind of what they're doing now. Although, uh, better code splitting by default, I think is gonna be a big thing for everybody going forward. What if we just put all the code in the browser so it doesn't have to ship when you visit the web page. Everything's native, native all the things. Yeah. I think that would be great. I think that there's some obstacles to that, but they're not totally, you know, something you can't overcome, so. Just finished up with the first half of my day. Not super productive, but I actually got to spend a little bit of time with Ben Lesh, which was a lot of fun. And I got to think about some of my longer term projects. Now I'm headed to another meeting and then off to another doctor's appointment. Just finished up something at work and I just found out that Daniel might have a little bit of a fever so Steph's taking him to the doctor's office and I'm headed home right now to see if I can catch them, see if I can do anything to help. Yeah. Hey cutie buddy, at least you don't have a fever. That's good, right? Oxygen's looking good, heartbeat's looking good. You're gonna be okay buddy, don't worry. So we finished up with the doctor. She says that Daniel has a small slight cold and we should just keep feeding him, just keep holding him, keep loving him, keep talking to him. Check, we were gonna do that anyway. Can I see your new boppy? Wait, oh my gosh, I'm gonna put it on my back like this. It's gonna be like. Can you twerk with your boppy? No, I can't twerk at all. <laughs> Pretty interesting day. I was in the office for most of the day, getting awesome stuff done, feeling very productive. Then we had to go to the doctor to take a look at Daniel because he is apparently a little bit sick. The doctor said it's a very, very light cold and he should be just fine, but it's good to have a little bit of confirmation that he's sick and that some of his behaviors make sense. And then that was kind of it. We napped, we watched the baby, we relaxed a little bit, we watched this new Netflix series called The Fix, starring Jimmy Carr, which is really, really funny. But very, very lightweight day. But one of the things that I've been doing over the last few weeks, really since the baby was born, is I've been reading more. I've been on my phone almost all the time. Whenever we've got downtime, whenever I'm holding the baby, I've been reading. And I've actually finished like seven or eight different books since he's been born. So that's the last two months as of today. And I'm, I'm really proud of myself because normally I used to just read kind of nonfiction, self-help, personal productivity, uh, behavioral economics books, but I've been reading a lot of fantasy and it's been a lot of fun. The bulk of what I've been reading has been getting back into the uh, kind of high fantasy of uh, Brandon Sanderson. So I'd never read Brandon Sanderson before, but I've read all the Stormlight books now. I've read all of the Mistborn books. I've read Warbreaker. I've read Elantris. I've read a bunch of the novellas that he's written. And it's it's really been fun because Brandon Sanderson is really good at world building and he's really good at uh, storytelling. And so from those perspectives, it's really fun. I, I'm not as big of a fan of his kind of opinion and outlook on magic systems. I think he's got too many secrets and he's not even following a lot of his own principles when it comes to designing magic systems that you can then predict and understand kind of what's going to happen next. I feel like a lot of the time he's like, and then you can also do this. Uh, but one of the things I want to do is I, I have got a couple new episode ideas for the vlog. I want to do an episode where I actually just meet and I chat with uh, other people that have read stories from the Cosmere, read stories by Brandon Sanderson, and talk about kind of the, what's strong about them, what's weak about them. And the other episode that I want to do is a I want to actually make a music video to the song Sunflower. Uh, I know it's not super kid appropriate, but Daniel's a baby. He doesn't understand what's going on. But I, he just loves hearing that song. He loves dancing to that song with me. And so I want to take time and actually make a music video to that, which I think would be really fun to do. So making plans for the future. I'm feeling pretty good about life. Uh, right now, I need to get back to bed. It just hit midnight. So good night, everybody.